So here's the thing. I'm not a prodigy. I don't have a wall of CVEs. I didn't grow up soldering microchips at age 7 or reverse engineering malware on my TI-84. I still mess up my Nmap flags and forget that Dash SV exists. But last month, I beat three seasoned hackers, actual professionals, to a $4,000 bounty. And they're probably still wondering how. It was a private program invite, medium scope, enterprise web app, the kind where the swagger docs have swagger docs. I open it up and I already know who else got access. Hacker won leaderboard royalty. The kind of people who casually drop write-ups that read like mini theses. One guy had a recon automation tool so complex I'm pretty sure it booted a Kubernetes cluster just to generate a word list. Meanwhile, I was still copy-pasting curl commands and making typos. But here's the twist. They all missed the bug. I didn't. Now don't get me wrong, these people are smart. Wicked smart. But smart doesn't always win in bug hunting. Speed wins, grit wins, and thinking like a degenerate unpaid intern on their fifth Red Bull at 3 a.m., that definitely wins. Here's how they approached it. Pure brute force. Recon tools blasting away, dozens of tabs open, passive subdomain scans, tech stack fingerprinting, hunting for juicy S3 buckets like it's 2019. All good stuff if you want the same bugs everyone else finds. But that's the thing. They were looking for vulnerabilities. I was looking for mistakes. See, most hackers treat apps like machines. I treat them like crime scenes. I'm not here to scan, I'm here to investigate. Who built this? What did they forget? What shortcut did someone take on a Friday at 5.59 p.m. so they could go home and watch Netflix? That mindset alone cuts through so much noise, and this time, it paid off big. While everyone else was hammering the main site, I dug into the mobile app. No one was even looking at it because the APK hadn't been updated in years. But when I decompiled it, I found a hard-coded reference to a staging API. I punch in the URL. It's dead. Classic. But then I try it with a specific user agent from an old device just for fun. Boom. The endpoint comes alive. And it's not just live, it's forgotten. Unprotected. Full access to internal data. No auth required. This wasn't even a sophisticated vuln. It was just abandoned. And that's exactly the kind of thing you'll never find with automated tools. So I fire off the report. Sit back and wait. A few days later, triaged. Valid. High severity. $4,000 in the inbox. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in the Discord watching the others still brainstorming. I just stayed quiet. But let me be honest, that moment changed how I saw bug hunting completely. Because it wasn't just a win, it was a wake-up call. Most people think this game is about mastering burp suite or building some elite recon automation. And sure, those things help. But what really matters is how you think. It's not the tools, it's the mindset. And I didn't build that mindset on my own. I learned it from people who don't hang out on YouTube. They're not grinding LinkedIn or chasing clout on X. They're underground. A dropping knowledge in private discords, breaking things, helping each other level up, and quietly. That's what Cyberflows Academy is. It's not a course. It's not a YouTube playlist. It's a system, a playbook, a chaotic collective of hackers who've been through the fire and figured out what actually works. We don't waste time parroting OAS but top 10 like it's a religion. We study real exploits, we learn in public, we roast each other's payloads, and we've got the scars and the bounties to prove it. You want templates? They're in there. Want a breakdown of how I write bug reports that get auto-accepted? It's in there. Want the actual mindset shift that takes you from CTF participant to full-on bounty hunter? That's the entire point. And it's not just resources. It's community. It's pressure. It's late-night voice chats where someone finds a weird 403 bypass and we all drop what we're doing to test it live. It's not for everyone. But it might be for you, because again, I'm not special. I just learned where to look. I learned how to think in ways the scanners can't. And I outworked the people who were supposed to be better than me. So if you're sitting there waiting for the perfect tutorial or the perfect course to finally start hunting, let me save you some time. It doesn't exist. What exists is the moment you go all in. Learn in public. Fail fast. Surround yourself with people who are way, way ahead of you and just keep up. That's how I beat the pros, and you can too. Maybe you just need to stop studying and start hunting.